Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here and welcome to 60 Seconds Reatomized, a Cold War nuclear attack simulator, or I guess atomic attack simulator. 1950s, 1960s, people were going crazy building bunkers under their uh, houses and basically thinking that after a nuclear attack they could just walk away and uh, everything would be okay. So if you like uh, World War II games or strategy games of any type or uh, Cold War games, then this might definitely be the game for you in terms of the history and uh, everything that's going on. So uh, go ahead and show your support if you'd like to see more, and I would love to play more of this game as well. There's a survival mode and uh, also a scavenge mode, so we'll see what we can do. Is that my boys leaving Area 51? There they are up there. Perfect. They're escaping with what seems to be an alien spacecraft. Wonderful. Oh boy, the humanity. All right, let's get started with a new game. Oh, there we are. And it uh, looks like the uh, options here are sur Gavin, Survival, and uh, Apocalypse. We'll go with that. We'll go with Fat Man, Ted. Let's begin our adventure then and see what we can do. So we got to find things like soup and water and med kits and uh, fire axes and flashlights, things that would be useful in a nuclear attack. And here's our wonderful house with, wow, look at that, all that soup and stuff ready to go right here. We got our daughter nearby. She's practicing on the... Uh, I guess the saxophone. And here comes the Soviet attack. All right. <clears throat> so confirmed. Uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles are on their way. We need to drop off all of our family members and all these supplies inside. I see a little uh, gas mask there. There's a lot of stuff. Not a lot of time to gather it all. So we're going to try to grab all the stuff that we can. Try to find the rest of the family members. Grab that gas mask. It's definitely critical. This will probably take two hands. Indeed it did. And the med kit. No, we need two hands for that too. All right, let's grab water. <clears throat> all right, let's go find Timmy and the wife. We got to go find Bay. I drop off this stuff. All right. Okay, let's go see if we can... Actually, this takes two hands, so uh, let's grab some... Uh, oh, I grabbed a map. Oh, that's useful. Super useful. All right, we aren't going to have time for everybody. Or everything. we got to grab Timmy and the wife. Let's go. This is our last chance. Okay, to the shelter. We need to make it. Anything else I can sneak out and grab? Maybe some water? Oh, last second water. We got it. Oh, that, that definitely could pay off. And here comes the nuke. Boom, leveling the entirety of the of the U.S., I suppose. Whew. Okay, well, that was definitely close. Some, it's all RNG, so sometimes you just have to gather things uh, uh, differently. So anyway, welcome to our shelter. It is day one. And uh, take a look at these folks now, because in a few days they're going to look haggard and rugged and eventually just like on the verge of death. Looks like we got quite a bit of uh, soup cans down here, but uh, not enough. We can always go out and find more, too, so uh, we will be able to scavenge and things like that. Unfortunately, we're not able to find a radio, but we did find a map, so maybe we can look around a little bit more. Should be fine, right? Just post-nuclear attack? Should be fine. All of us made it to the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. Remember, hearing canned soup is healthy for you. Uh, when we opened the shelter door, we noticed some of the shelves were already stocked. We can't really say we recall putting all these supplies here, but we're definitely going to put it to good use. Plus one on the lock, and uh, let's see. We'll sleep on the cans. Oh, it must be uh, because we had, maybe I found that lock and key earlier or something. Maybe that was the key for the door. All right, well, <clears throat> there's lots of text to read, but we're going to skip through a lot of that. And uh, so we need to take care of Mary Jane, Timmy, Dolores, and Ted, and then we'll go out on some expeditions soon. So we'll see if we can do that. Uh, we're a regular family, so we have occasional argument or two, but it's never as intense as the fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other. Let's just hope the day won't last long. All right, fair enough. All right, on to the next day. So I assume the goal is to last a certain number of days and then to have the military find you. Oh, boy, you can already tell Dad's gone a day without shaving. Uh, let's see what day two brings us. We start arguing, but for how long? Ted is not complaining, at least not very much. Everyone else is feeling safe, and everyone else is starting to be calm. Okay, so nobody's really hungry or anything just yet. The longer we can go without giving them supplies, the better. And let's see, let's start preparing for an expedition tomorrow. Uh, ooh, what is this, a car? It is not the best time or place to make plans for the future, but we cannot help thinking about what the uh, terrible situation... Oh, oh, they want to move to uh, <laughs> Toronto, I guess. Okay, fair enough. Okay, on to day three. Now here's where the game makes a little bit of a change. I don't know if we'll ever be able to go out of the bunker again, but I wish there was more like top-down uh, survival type of situations like there was before. All right, Ted needs water. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Looks like everybody's getting thirsty, fair enough. So let's see, thirsty, 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 and thirsty. All right, everyone gets a drink. All right, <clears throat> looks like somebody's ready to go out. 
Uh, let's see, let's send uh, Dad out into the wilderness there and go explore. All right, he's going to be gone now for a few days and uh, see if we can find some more supply or meet up with people. There could be friendlies out there, anything. Could be a good situation for us. Okay. So let's see. Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. Nobody's thirsty. Nobody's hungry. He's basically crossed out in the meantime. Uh, let's see. Smell the fumes. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, yep. Yeah, some people want cake. There's a lot of just kind of uh, things to read as the days pass. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. What do we got here? Still better to be safe down here than dead up there. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying it out loud. If there's anything to report, Dolores is where it would have been written. Timmy might not look like it. he's a strong boy. He's doing fine. All right, good. Good lad. All right, nobody else is hungry or anything like that. What do we got here? Oh, we could have had our radio there. Unfortunately, we couldn't find one. But, uh, again, you can't find everything. But we did find a gas mask, and we did find an axe, so that could be helpful later. Uh, dreadful silence is becoming boring in every... Uh, happy model family, we don't yeah, okay. So we needed to find a radio to activate whatever that was there. There's little bonuses that can come at the end of each day. Alright, day six. We've almost been down here a week. Everybody's looking thin. They must be getting hungry. Uh, let's see, there's nothing here. Uh, Mary Jane is thirsty and tired. Looks like everybody's getting tired. I, what, I wonder why. Looks like they're hungry, thirsty, and tired. All right, so it looks like just these two are hungry and thirsty. Oh, she wants something to drink as well. Okay, that should be just fine. Hopefully Ted will be back soon. Uh, what's that sound? A galloping horse? We rushed to the door and we were greeted by two men dressed like they'd come from a medieval fair. Uh, we identified the source of the sound. One of them was holding two rocks and hitting them against each other constantly while the other was skipping and pretending to be a rider. They said they were looking for some antique cup they got lost and would be most grateful if we would let them check out our map. Okay, go ahead. Hopefully they're friendly and bring it back in one piece. All right, we've already been down here a week. Time is flying by. <clears throat> let's see if uh, Dear Old Dad is on his way back. Uh, let's see, we were way too impressed with their medieval outfits to decline, so we showed them our map and pointed at the location of our shelter. They quickly found their bearings and rewarded our kindness with a set of checkers. Excellent, so now we have something to do. Perfect. All right, let's see. Anybody hungry? Tired? Tired and hungry? I wonder how we cure the tired. I'm not sure. I don't think we could find any cots or anything above the surface. But you'd think those things would be down here to begin with. Let's see. Playing around with matches is never a good idea. Doing so in a tiny... Uh, let's see. Time is short. We need to put it out and save our supplies. Oh, I see. There was a fire. What do we save? We'll grab the med kit then. I suppose. And I think Dad has come back. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. He's a zombie now. Uh, let's see. That was close. We were able to put out the fire and nothing seemed to be damaged, at least not very badly. Uh, let's see. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. When a man is desperate enough, any place is good to look through. Food or water expedition coming home. Nothing to show for all the searching. But then they stumbled across... Uh, Full trash cans out in the neighbor that once man's trash is another man's treasure. Oh, good, we were able to find soup and we were able to find a radio. There we go. Now we're getting to it. All right, Ted is also sick severely, so let's give him a med kit and let's get him some food. Just tired, tired, and tired. Okay, fair enough. All right, nobody's in good shape to go out for tomorrow. I'm not sure exactly how everybody's going to be tired. I don't know how we uh, actually improve upon that. Do we just give them regular rations or something? I'm, I'm not sure exactly how to improve on that. Let's see. Looks like everybody's out of the question. Maybe dear old dad will be ready to go tomorrow. All right, let's go ahead and listen to the portable radio. And dad should feel better tomorrow. Day nine. Time's going by quickly. There he goes. He looks a little better, doesn't he? What's that dark spot up there? We made contact. The military is out there, and they're coming for us. All we need to do now is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was uh, very specific about this. Help is on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions to keep the radio in working order. All right, very good. Let's give her some time to recover. How are these people all tired? I don't... That's actually an interesting mechanic. I played this before and haven't really seen... You're not able to, like, uh, tell people to sleep or whatnot. Let's see. Timmy needs a rest a bit longer. 
can't have water without too long. Maybe they just all need rations in order to be fully recovered. And we need to send somebody out, but... Alright, let's do this. Let's go ahead and send, uh... We'll give Ted a full, uh... Full round of stuff. And let's give you all just water. Mm, water's kind of starting to get low. We gotta be cautious about that. Uh, let's see. Dolores doesn't seem well... We should do something about it. Hit her, what, hit her with the bug spray? What would that have anything to do with it? All right, let's see. So now we have our objectives. Wait for the military uh, to give further orders. Good. Okay, let's prepare for an expedition tomorrow, and then maybe uh, dear old dad will feel better. I think maybe we need to give them food and water to, for them to not feel tired. I guess everyone can feel tired. Well, let's see how that works. Let's see. Ted hasn't recovered his energy. So-and-so is still tired. Timmy keeps falling asleep. What's going on with this family? They're just lazy. Tired, hungry. Tired and hungry. Alright, well, Ted is a little tired, but I think somebody's got to go. Oh, it looks like Mom is ready to go. Alright, Mom, you're heading outside. Good day to go outside. Alright, you're going to go out on an expedition. You're good to go. Alright, day 11. Okay. Oh look, and as you can see, time goes on. Things change inside the uh, inside the bunker too. There's actually visible wear of them living here. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's make sure she. Let's hope she makes it back. Let's see. Tired, tired. I guess you just need to keep everyone well fed. But we're not going to feed them until we absolutely have to. Uh, there isn't a lot of space down here. We can smell everything. When one of us, uh, when one of the wall bricks gets loose today and revealed a hole. We felt pretty sick. It's the smell coming from the hole. It's terrible. We should investigate the scent of the stench. Okay. Oh, did we find a phone? That doesn't make any sense. There's a phone ringing. Uh, we were we approached the hole and cautiously peeked inside. What happened next nearly gave us a heart attack. Some crazed rodent or reptile or whatever uh, creature leapt out and started jumping all over the damn shelter. It was everywhere. We couldn't catch it before we could do anything. We uh, pushed our radio off the table and went back into the hole it came from. We never saw it again. Damn, the radio's down now. Okay. All right, some a random specific note. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, we'll give you food and water. Water. Hopefully mom comes back with some water. Ooh, things are about to get real rough. All right, ring, ring. All right, there was somebody at the phone. Timmy, you, you go out and answer the phone. Let's see what's up. All right, so I think it takes maybe three or four... I think the longer a character is gone, the better rewards you might have to, uh, to claim, but it, we'll see. Uh, let's see, what happened on the phone? When we answered the phone, we could barely hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as a survivor from a nearby town. Uh, we started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something went wrong on the other side. We hope they'll get back to us. Okay. Good. So it's possible we could meet up with them in the future. And unfortunately, the radio's broken from that, uh, that little lizard thing. Await further instructions from the military, so we gotta get our radio back and wait further instructions from friendly wastelanders. Make contact with other wastelanders. Okay, so they called us, so it looks like we were doing real good here. Good job, Timmy, on answering that phone. All right, we'll wait another day. Hopefully, Mom will come back. All right. Too bad we can't repair anything. Let's see. Ten, uh, oh, everybody's rested. Wow, what the... It's so weird on how, uh, whether or not they feel rested or not. I don't know. Uh-oh. Spiders seem to be uh, operating under the assumption that they have the same rights to the shelter as we do. Oh. Well, unfortunately, we don't have anything to get rid of them with. And, uh, Mom is... We're still waiting on Mom. Too bad we can't send out multiple expeditions at once. Alright, we won't be able to do anything with the spider, but I think she's back. Day 15. We've been down here for over two weeks now. Oof. Oof. Bad shape. Uh, we decided we could get rid of those spiders with our bare hands and feet. Unfortunately, we underestimated the chances. Okay. A lot of extra information there, but I don't really care too much about it. Alright, thirsty. Sick and tired. Uh, let's give her water. She's about... She's gonna starve. Let's give her uh, soup instead. Okay, uh, let's see. Hungry and thirsty. 
and hungry, thirsty, and tired. You want a little break? All right, let's prepare for another uh, outgoing. Dancing cockroaches now. Jeez. All right, we don't have anything to take care of all these problems. All right, day 16. What the hell? Wow. That is a glowing cro uh, cockroach of some sort. Okay, we need to get out and find some supplies. So, can someone go out and find stuff? Oof, nobody can go outside? Bleh. Hmm. Alright, I guess nobody's feeling like it. Oh, Ted's a little tired, so how could we possibly look for food or water? Alright, well, let's give her, give mom some more stuff here. Oh, yeah, Timmy's a little tired, so, yeah. All you guys do is sit around inside all day. You guys should be full of energy, especially the kids. We gotta work together as a family here now. Alright, well, we'll go with this. Uh. Hopefully mom gets better soon. She can, even though they're sick, sometimes characters can recover if you give them food and water. And give them rest, too. She just looks more irritated than she does sick now. Okay, let's see. Ted is still hungry. Oh good, Dolores is just sick now. Dolores says she can handle herself, but we're not sure. Really, mom is the only one? She's sick, but every... Oh. Mom is sick, but the kids are... I'm a little tired, Mom. I don't really want to go. We've been arguing and arguing with Dolores. The fact that we're down here for the last bit of food didn't help, and now we're almost at each other's throat about the damn soup. The alternative reason... Uh, should we share an extra can right now? Uh, okay, maybe that'll chill everyone out. All right, go ahead and share. And then Dolores can go on her adventure tomorrow. We need to find another radio, too. All right, Dolores was right. We should take the soup, so we did. Oh, we should share the soup, okay. Okay, anybody else uh, thirsty? Thirsty? Oh, this family's just so lazy. Nobody can go out except for Mom, who's sick. Honey, I'm a little tired. Uh, okay. Meanwhile, Mom is, like, incredibly sick. Maybe she'll go out and find a med kit or something. Okay, Ted is no longer hungry or thirsty. Good. Tired, tired. Oh, everybody's just tired, yeah. Is there a way to cure the tiredness? Jeez. Uh, let's see. Uh, we don't have anything to do this quest. It's all RNG, too. We've got ourselves a fire axe, so that could also be used as well, but nothing coming up just yet for it. Soup cans everywhere. Alright, just tired. Tired and tired. Okay. Uh, let's see. They're talking about moving somewhere else. Okay. Hopefully mom comes back soon. 21 days. If we get to a month, that'll be a really good, uh, really good time. Military's around here somewhere. Let's see. Time to ration some more. Thirsty, thirsty. Thirsty and hungry. Okay, we're pretty much out of soup now. Uh, let's see. Are the walls closing in on us? Is the space getting smaller? We need to get out of here now. Open the door. Open the door. Uh, no. Let's see what happens. I hear knocking. Okay, now Dad has gone crazy with the sock puppet. Great. Um, wonderful. I don't know what to make of that. Uh, keeping the door closed was the right thing to do, but tensions are rising in our little shelter. Uh... Oh, Ted has gone crazy. Okay, good. Okay, Ted is now crazy. I don't know how to cure crazy. And Timmy's good to go. Timmy, you need to go out on quests. Uh, let's see. A young lady, all dressed in white, has visited us today, requesting our aid. Wasting no time, she laid out a plan of what she said is a bandit camp where she claims her twin brother is being held. Seems like the young man was... Oh, is this the uh, villagers nearby? Let's see, his sister's very worried, definitely won't regret deciding to help her. Alright, send Timmy. Go, Timmy. And we'll have new quests, too. We should have sent Timmy with a gun. You can't really send your characters with anything. This actually looks like South Park right here. Is that, uh, Greg Marsh or something like that? 
Alright, what do we got? Wasteland is full of uh, surprises, like the man on the other side of our door knocking, claiming that if we're decent ammunition. Well, unfortunately, we don't have ammunition, but we could trade a uh, checkerboard. Still waiting for uh, word from the outside. And what do we got here? Ted is crazy hungry. Same. Uh, tired and Timmy, you're going out, right? On this quest? Or no? Yeah, let's trade the checkers. I'm desperate to see what happens. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see what happens. 24. And look at their hair, by the way. Timmy is just full afro. And Mary Jane is just, like, wrecked. Oh, let's see. Looks like the guy just left with our checkerboard. Okay. Da, da, da. All right, nothing we can do about that. Anybody thirsty? All we can do now is worry about thirst. We're running out of food. Well, we're out of food, but we're running out of, uh, like, uh, hunger levels. Eventually, people will be very hungry and, uh, well, they could starve. Looks like there's another radio message. Oh, we don't have a radio anymore. Let's see. We don't think Dolores is coming back from the surface. It's been too long. What? Oh, yeah, I suppose. Uh, Ted's mental health worries us all, but we don't know how to help. Ted is no longer thirsty. That's good. Okay, Mom's dead. Crazy starvation. Oh, boy. This is about to end really poorly. Timmy, it's up to you. I wonder what it would be like to send Dad out there. Okay, let's get ready to send Timmy. Day 26. Mom ain't coming back. Sorry, kids. Look at how rugged everybody gets. Alright, Timmy. Time for you to go out. Alright, everyone's getting hungry. So we're sending Timmy. Oh, you can actually tell him what to take. Oh, there is a way to actually tell them what to take. I thought the hand... I didn't realize the hands were there before. So that increases the chances, I guess, of finding something. Sometimes there's also scenarios where the uh, fire axe will come in handy inside the... Uh, the uh oh he's looking rugged. Uh oh everybody's having a tough day. Oh, boy. Sometimes they don't come back either, so... At least, um... He uses less supplies, because he's not here. He's going to have to find food when he's out. Well, in retrospect, I wish we had ourselves a, uh... Oh, what? The hell? What? How did... What? This is insane. Why would we talk to roaches? Are we going insane, are we? What the hell? Mary Jane went to bed her normal self, and now she's just mutated? Mary Jane isn't looking very good. She hasn't eaten in a while. What? There's only so many days of man... Okay, so Dad is dead, but what the hell? What kind of game mechanic is that? Oh, hey, yeah, Mary Jane, she's just a different species now. Like, what? I think the game ends when you have just two players left. So I think because Dad is dead, and it's just Timmy and the uh, and uh, Mary Jane, the game just ends. What is that all about? Oh, can you mark stuff on the map? Oh, it seems like you can interact with stuff. Interesting. Okay. Well, I think that's it for our first good run at this game, guys. If you want to see more, let me know down below in the comments section. This was a ton of fun to play. 